SWAT teams deployed at Caesars as they locked down a situation there. Someone barricaded themselves in their room for a domestic disturbance of some sorts. The SWAT and the police are in that activity as of today, Tuesday, at about 9.15ish that kind of took place, and they responded very quickly to that. Obviously, at Caesars Palace, you know some stuff's going down when uh, you're hanging out at Caesars, whether you're holding somebody captive or hostage or whatever it might be you're in some real trouble. So I, I, I suggest anybody come in here with a gun and, and need to uh, uh, brandish that gun for some odd reason, you're going to be in big trouble. I mean, that's just the way it goes. But anyways, the Boring Tunnel. Let's get to the boring stuff. Yeah, Boring Tunnel in Las Vegas. They are have 65 miles of tunnels they're going to dig. And that's 69, yes, you heard it, 69 new substations that will pick up and drop off on the Strip. And they're mostly hotels, so that's good news. And for you people that want to, you know, get away from the heat, you can go underneath the tunnel, get a ride in a Tesla. Eventually, it's not open yet, but eventually that will happen for you to enjoy. So you can take your bag of goodies from your shopping experience and trussle your way and saunter onto new horizons underneath the city of Las Vegas. So I think that's pretty cool. You can go to Las Vegas Sign, you can go to the Sphere, you can go to uh, the newest openings that they just did was at Westgate and also the Encore. So they're going to have new uh, pickup and drop off areas there. So if you're going to a, con a conference, let's say if you're going to the conference center that we have here, it's gigantic, and they do have a working model, I've taken it. It's really cool. You should too. It starts at about Resorts World you can go to and get in a Tesla. It's about $350 per ride. But once you pay that $350, it's, you can go back without the pay. You know, it's just a, a one-way pay. And it's pretty cool. So you can go in there and do all that stuff, and it's really fun. Now, as far as the Sphere goes, the Sphere is uh, really a spectacle. I mean, you can see the giant eyeball here, but there's a lot of things that... Um, are happening around it because it's now a, an attraction. So people are, are walking to it from their hotels and also driving in that area. And they're parking on the side of the road, which is moderately safe, I would say, because they got it coned off there and people are just parking and getting, and they're getting all their shots in, their f photos, videos, and TikToks and whatever else they're into. And it's pretty awesome. So if you guys want to see the full 4th of July spectrum of what this thing could do, I have that link down below. I would highly recommend you check that out. It is really fun. I had a, f a lot of fun filming that. And also a uh, special thank you to Vital Vegas who... Uh, pimped my video out on his page as well and the eyeball photo so i think they got a lot of uh, attraction for that and hopefully it gets a lot of attraction for his page as well you can go to casino.org vital vegas and you can see all that good stuff there and he has a lot of great news about las vegas so i recommend if you're on twitter definitely subscribe or follow Vital Vegas or myself and all these other ones. Las Vegas Locally is another one that is uh, really good at getting out some great news and stuff about Las Vegas. So highly recommend that. And there's a lot of other ones I could mention, but those are the two prominent ones in Las Vegas so far. Formula One is coming here. Get ready because it's going to be a lot of fun. And if you got tickets, $5,000 a ticket, uh, good luck, you know, but don't expect this grandioso thing going on. We'll keep you updated on what the grandstands are going to look like and all that neat stuff that's going on with Formula One. Um, so it is going to be quite of a spectacle here, seeing how it's going to be the first one going down the Las Vegas Strip and in and around the areas around the Sphere and all that neat stuff. They're going to have a lot of grandstands, entertainment, and all this neat sponsored other pavilions or whatever it might be. We'll have all that for you. So it should be uh, pretty cool. So get your racing helmets on and uh, you enjoy the fun, you know? I just got this in here on this Twitter feed. The SWAT standoff at Caesars, our man busting windows out of the Caesars room right here. You can see he's got furniture flying out of the room. He must be really mad, but armed, feared, uh, stray shooting uh, could have been going on there to shoot that window out. But yeah, if he's uh, brandishing that weapon and shooting, they're going to go in and they're going to shoot that guy. There's no doubt about it because Vegas does not play around with criminals or if you're if you have a weapon or a knife or anything that is dangerous to anybody else 
they are gonna they're gonna get you and that's just the way it goes but this is kind of wild west stuff here it's happening and this is the first i've ever seen this this is really crazy so this guy's just throwing stuff out the window he's busting out windows in a hotel room i mean the people that are coming in here lately are just starting fights and doing all kinds of stuff it could be any race nationality i'm not pointing out who it is or what it is but anyways stuff happens here even i was walking down the strip the other day doing a live stream and someone made a rude comment to me and i was just like what you got to be kidding me you came all the way to vegas to like make rude comments to people that's really i find that really interesting and uh bizarre but hey these are the times we live in and hopefully everybody gets their mind right and gets everything straightened out blast from the past here you got here like steve Wynn doing his uh commercials that they do back in the 80s and stuff like that but they have some really bizarre <laughs> commercials they used to do to swindle people into coming to las vegas but Siegfried Roy moved the frontier in moved from the frontier, the Frontier Hotel Casino, in 1981, with their show. Their managers went all went all out to promote them in 1982. Uh, SNR's Pocket Magic and uh, all that stuff at, available at Walgreens. You can see that they're doing some promotional thing with Siegfried Roy back in the day. But they later ended up at the Mirage. Um, in Las Vegas, so that's Steve Wynn's old, old stuff. So this is like, talking like the 80s, man. They used to do this weird stuff here. But back then, what was weird in the 80s? Slam balls coming to Las Vegas again. If you're familiar with basketball on a, you know, a trampoline, this is what it's going to look like. Slam ball has officially returned to the July 21st in Las Vegas. That would actually be a cool show to watch. Uh, it just seems like pretty like aggressive basketball maneuvers going on there with some, yeah, really interesting moves. But that guy just took the trophy. So I don't know if they'll have a, a shoe named after him after that. But anyways, slam ball. So more on this fight. This at least four women were involved in a vicious fight. So yeah, you can imagine if you're walking through like the Encore, which this was at. Uh, at least four women were involved in a vicious fight caught on camera uh, near at set poker tables and luxury uh, Las Vegas hotel, which is the Encore. Um, it even as a woman brought a scooter into the fight uh so that there's dragging and people away trying to get these people away from each other so they couldn't uh you know one person got held to the ground and all this stuff and it's really just nonsense it's really just nonsense but people love this stuff it's drama it works it gets attention and uh maybe it's the new marketing theme for las vegas hey how can we get more people like this into our hotel because we need this it brings a lot of attention to our thing no i'm kidding please don't do that it's uh probably not a good idea again the orb you can see the traffic here as people are mustering their way into the sphere area you can see the other side of the road where people are hanging out uh some on the uh, median of the road and uh it's interesting. I think it's great people are getting stuff like that, but the traffic backup for this thing is unreal. It's it's definitely a spectacle in itself. So can't say enough about the sphere. It is definitely eye catching, as you can see. Uh, I spent two point three billion on this project, and the biggest question with this sphere whole thing is it's three hundred sixty six feet high. It seats about what seventeen thousand people, maybe, and it's the world's biggest standing sphere that we know right now so it's a uh, kind of the eighth wonder of the world in las vegas so i'm going to keep this short and sweet but how are they going to get revenue in this place would it be advertising on this thing who's going to advertise on this it's on the back side of the strip you're not going to see it going down the strip so you're limited unless you're coming in and your flight sees it uh that would be pretty prime if there's a, a new uh, entertainment thing going on inside there they can advertise some different stuff to to attract people to it and i don't think they'll have a problem doing that seeing as how they've got that attraction already so that's just my take on the sphere not sure if they'll make money on this thing but uh eventually you know it'll it'll come to uh, a fruition in the future so well, back to the boring tunnel thing you can see the footage here the boring machines are doing their thing they can dig about uh, a mile per week so one mile per week which is uh, four to five times slower than a garden snail that's crazy but anyways um this is i think the uh encore location here looks like the encore 
back end there. But yeah, Encore is going to get a pickup drop off on it. And this is what it kind of looks like when they bore through something. And so they're about 40, 50 feet underground and they just come up on a slant. And there it is. So they can directionally change this thing uh, on different degrees of angles and stuff like that. Not a 90 degree, but kind of sloping degrees. So you can pop out with your car and drop you off and all that stuff. So it's the loop. Uh, the Tesla loop is going to do uh, 65 miles. And also, oh, it says right here, and 65 miles and with 69 stations. So that's awesome. So the Boring Tunnel is making some uh, mile markers in Las Vegas as far as getting all this stuff done. They probably want to do it, um, have it completed by 2027, 2030, that kind of thing. So it'd have a full underground transportation system for Las Vegas. So I think that'd be a great thing. And it'll be awesome to see. I've taken it before and I thought it was cool. So anyways, this right here is their... Uh, shuttle that they have so they're kind of revealing like what the shuttle would be like for that so it's kind of a prototype but uh not quite sure what that's going to um how that's going to entail how they're going to build that boring hole for that how it's going to fit because right now they're just using tesla cars and um you know the suv types to get people to and from now they're talking about a 12 seater to 24 seater uh shuttle run uh, maybe that goes straight down the strip. Who knows what that'll entail. But we'll get more on that later on. But anyways, that's the news. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. I'm Jason James, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.